if you're looking for more veggie heavy plant-based meals this year, put this cauliflower tiki masala on your menu stat. Hi mindful moms and dads, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best but it doesn't need to be complicated. Whether you're trying to eat healthier, you want to incorporate more plant-based recipes into your diet this year, or you're just looking for a flavorful, easy, but different meal, this Instant Pot Cauliflower Tiki Masala is a must try. It's a lot like butter chicken. Well, without the butter, without the chicken, and without the heavy cream, so okay. Not at all like butter chicken, but the similarities lie in that this dish is rich in Indian spices and flavor and oh my goodness, it's so incredibly tasty. So let's put on our kitchen capes and make this fast tiki masala. The first thing we're going to do is turn our instant pot to saute so that we can saute up our onion and aromatics here. I'm going to add in just a little bit of olive oil, just a couple teaspoons. And once my oil is heated, I'm adding in one minced onion. Just gonna saute that onion up until it's nice and softened. It should only take three to four minutes. Now to my softened onion, I'm adding in three cloves of minced garlic. And then I'm also going to grate some fresh ginger root that's been peeled right into my inner pot here. And I'm grating about a half of inch of ginger, which is about one tablespoon of minced ginger already smells incredibly good in here. Ginger and garlic and onion, I mean, it's the start of a lot of good recipes. For my spices, I'm adding in two teaspoons of garam masala, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I know this is a lot of spices. Chances are you have them in your pantry, and I'm telling you, these spices are what's gonna give this dish so much flavor. Now to my spices, I'm also adding in two tablespoons of tomato paste, and then I'm just gonna add in a pinch of salt here too. We're gonna saute up our tomato paste and spices and garlic and ginger just for about a minute. We don't wanna burn our garlic or ginger, but we really, really want to let them toast and develop and deepen in flavor. It's a secret to a really good sauce. Okay, that looks good. More importantly, it smells good. So we're gonna hit cancel on our Instant Pot. And then, you know the drill, we've gotta scrape up any brown bits on the bottom of our inner pot to prevent a burn notice. So today I'm adding in a half a cup of low sodium vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth if that's what you have on hand, but since this is a vegetarian friendly meal, I'm using vegetable broth today. And then we're just gonna scrape, scrape, scrape any brown bits off the bottom of that inner pot. We only need a half a cup of broth because we're adding in 30 ounces of diced tomatoes with their juices, which I'm adding now. And that tomato juice is going to give enough liquid in our inner pot to come to pressure and maintain pressure while it cooks. For some texture and protein, I'm adding in one can of chickpeas that have been rinsed and drained. For the cauliflower, I have florets here that are about two inches in size, and I'm using about four cups, which is the equivalent of one head of cauliflower. And that's it. We're gonna pop our lid on our Instant Pot. Make sure our vent knob is pointed towards sealed. Now to set cooking time, we're only going to set for two minutes on high pressure. That's just enough time to develop all the rich flavors and cook the cauliflower without it turning to mush. Once the cooking time has elapsed, this is one recipe we wanna do a quick release of pressure. We don't want our cauliflower to overcook, and since we're not cooking meat, we don't have to worry about anything seizing up or becoming tough. So to do a quick release of pressure, you wanna make sure that you stand away from your vent knob, and then you wanna use a wooden spoon, the long end of a wooden spoon, and hit your vent knob from sealing to venting. It'll take a minute or two for pressure to fully release, and then once pressure has released, open up your inner pot. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it in here. It smells absolutely incredible. That blend of spices, it's just, oh, it's perfection. But we're not quite done yet. 
we're gonna turn our Instant Pot back to saute, and we're gonna add in one cup of frozen peas, totally optional, but it does add a lot of brightness to this dish. And then to finish our tiki masala with some richness and to tame down some of those spices that we added at the beginning, I'm adding in a half a cup of coconut milk. If you're not dairy free, you could add in a half a cup of heavy cream if you like, but you really wanna add cream or coconut milk of some sort just to give this dish a nice luxurious finish. We're gonna let this mixture saute while we give it a good stir just for a couple minutes. It won't take long. You just want your sauce just to thicken a little and for the peas to fully defrost. Okay, now we're ready to dish this out over some steamed rice here. All right, it smells too good. I can't wait any longer. I'm going in for a bite. Wow, the first thing that stands out to me is the flavor. It's so nuanced in spices and so rich in tomato flavor. I mean, it tastes like it's been simmering all day, but we made it in minutes. It's so incredibly good. And the cauliflower, not mushy at all. In fact, it tastes meaty and hearty, and it's a great plant-based substitute to really change up dinner or just make something healthy. In fact, even my carnivore Midwestern husband loves this dish. And another great Instant Pot vegan friendly meal is Instant Pot vegetable soup, which I'll share with you in my next video. Until then, happy cooking. Mm -mm.